Hi, I'm Brenda Weatherby, and welcome again to my kitchen. We are cooking elk hamburgers today. Um, this elk I got up in the Bighorns right just a half hour from where I live. Wonderful to be able to enjoy uh, what we harvest. Elk is a bit lean, and so I have a few tricks on you know, making a burger a little bit more juicy um, when you're cooking with elk. So uh, we got our pound of um, elk meat ground up. Um, we have just a few ingredients, um, some mustard, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke, or you could do an A1, either one is fine, egg, and salt and pepper. And then we have some fixins, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So this is super easy, just dump everything in. If you like the taste of one thing, do a little more or a little less, that's fine. I'm a big estimator in the kitchen. I know some people don't like to do that. Um, so if you want the exact um, measurement of ingredients, we have that for you. Um, if you wanna be creative, then be creative. Okay, so we're mixing this all up. Usually it gets down to where you gotta use your hands. You're gonna make the patties anyway, so. Another great thing, you can use this exact recipe for meatballs and just add a little bit of breadcrumbs and do the exact same thing. Um, and then cook those on the stove or um, in the oven. Okay, then we're gonna make our patties. This is a little wet. Um, you, you know, if it was drier than this would be fine. If it's wetter, it's fine. Um, kind of depends on what, what you like. Um, we have little slider kind of buns here, so I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller and put them over on the foil. I learned a trick from a friend and he always told me when cooking your elk um, or any type of wild game burgers to cook them on top of the foil on the barbecue and it just keeps the moisture in, which I found to be true. It also helps um, so they don't fall through the cracks because they are a little bit hard to keep together. Okay, and also if you put a little indent in the middle, they tend to not shrink as much, so I do that. We're gonna put these on the grill, and then one other just added bonus is um, the last couple minutes on the grill, you can put some pancetta on that foil um, and then that is a great little topping for your elk burgers. So we're gonna go put those on the grill and then we'll come back and put those back together. Okay, so we just got this burger off of the grill. Um, I've got some little Hawaiian rolls here that make them nice and sweet. So we'll put the burger on there and some pancetta. I always love to top it with some Gouda. Grilled onions are the best, so put some of those on there. And what other, whatever other fixings you like. That's gonna be amazing. Um, so here it is, the elk hamburger, um, all dressed up um, with pancetta, smoked gouda, lettuce and tomato, and a little bit of grilled onions. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you next time when we cook some more wild flavors.